guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you this hairstyle and it's really curly and I use a 3 4 inch curling iron. Um, yeah, so if you're new here, hi, my name is Chloe Brown. I'm so happy that you're here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel down below if you want to see more short hair tutorials like this in the future. All right, let's get right into the tutorial. Howdy ho! I probably shouldn't say that. Do you guys know where that's from? Today I'm going to do a super curly hairstyle. Pretty excited about this. Haven't worn my hair super curly in a while. Been doing a lot of wavy stuff. <sighs> Why am I out of breath? I think I got nervous because I said, howdy ho. Okay, I'm using a 3 4 inch curling iron. Now, this curling iron is pretty hard to find now, but I'll try to find it and link it. I honestly prefer the hot tools, so I'll link this one in the 3 4 inch. I just, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? So I haven't gotten rid of this. I actually also have this one. This is from Croc. This is their 3 4 inch as well. This one works great too. I just have so many that, ugh, you know. But um, I have a code that'll get you 30% off of this if it's not already on sale. Darn it, I don't know. If it's on sale, I can, my code doesn't work. But if it isn't on sale, I, I don't know. <laughs> is this really, I don't know. I don't know, but I'll link this too. Okay, so we are going to do curly, curly, curly. I, no matter what, straighten the bottom of my hair and curl it under. My hair at this length really wants to flip out. When it's at the back of my neck, it just wants to flip. It wants to go with the curvature of my body and I understand, but we're trying to combat that so I curl everything under. Do you see how it's curled under? The top is curling under too because it's just laying on top, but. Um, okay, so we're gonna take small sections I put this up to like medium heat, medium to high heat, and then um, we're gonna curl, but curl right at the root, just like this. I'm gonna leave those ends a little bit straight. Usually I do like the pull out. I don't think I'm gonna do that today. I know. I want my hair to just be really curly though. Sassy and fun. So I'm just keeping that curl close to the root at the base of my my head towards my scalp without burning. As you can tell, I have just a little bit of space. And then we'll pull it down and then curl again. These bottom layers, I'm gonna do all the same direction. I'm not gonna touch these curls until they're all the way cooled. And then I'll go ahead and fix them later, but I want them to stay really curly, so I'm not gonna touch them at all. Just do the same thing. And on the top layers, I'll interchange the directions that I curl my hair, but for now, we're gonna, we're gonna go make it easy, keep it easy. And then the reason why I'm using a 3 4 inch curling iron is because, one, the length of my hair, it's just so much easier to have a curl stay at this length when you're using a 3 4 inch curling iron. And then, um, I don't know, I like the tightness of the curls when I'm using this barrel. The one inch is like the loose, the loose curls. These are smaller. <laughs> I haven't been in a mood to wear my hair like this in a long time. I've been just very relaxed, chill kind of curl. So this is exciting to me. I am just gonna speed up this process for this bottom layer and then I'll talk to you guys when I get to the, the next one up. All right, you wanna know some secrets. I'll tell you some secrets. If your hair, if you want your hair to be big and have volume, um, you need to tease it before you curl if your hair doesn't hold a curl very well. Um, I do this too if I want my hair to look extra polished, I guess. So just take small sections of hair, lift them up, hairspray just the root of it, take a firm, fine tooth comb and just push the hair down and then brush up so nothing is tangled at the top. You just want all that stuff to just be right at the root so it should stay like that. And then you curl. If your hair does not hold a curl very well, what I want you to do is just take very small sections and don't touch them after you curl them until it's completely cooled. The less touching, the better, um, and the smaller sections, the tighter curl you're gonna get.
And see here, I'm alternating directions. So I'm just adding that one towards my face just to add some different uh, textures in here so they don't, all the curls don't kind of form together and create the waves. Do another one towards my face. All right, just to show you the difference, this side is teased on this one section and this side is not. And I am going to tease this section now after my hair is curled, I'm gonna show you the difference of what the curls look like. So just imagine if your hair didn't hold a curl and like you did all that brushing to it, right? It just, brushes out your curls. You want your hair to stay like room temperature or even cold as much as possible. Now, if I were to move my hands through this, then it would be more separated rather than kind of frizzy. Do you see how this is? This look to me is a lot better and you still have so much tease in there. And this one just looks, I don't know if you can see all those flyaways, but it just is more frizzy. I hope that helps. So tease your hair before you curl it. All right, I think this is my last section, but I do have my middle part more towards the side, so I'm gonna leave this last section up. Hopefully it doesn't get in the way. So now I'm gonna tease this section of hair. Teasing your roots also allows your hair to get less oily. So if you don't wanna wash your hair as much, you're totally fine, just tease it just a little bit. You can even, if you don't like body, you don't have to have body either. Just having that like extra tiny bit of lift at your roots really helps with keeping the oil off of your hair. We're going to put this in at an angle, bring it down by the eye, and then do the curl like that. The front pieces of my hair, I like to be a little straighter just to frame my face a little bit better. And then we do two curls away from the face just to add that face frame. And then I'll go ahead and I will add a curl towards the face right here. I'm still keeping the curling iron pretty close to the root. I'm just stopping right where the T started. Right now we're gonna flip this little guy over to this side just so it's out of the way. I will finish teasing the rest of this hair I will curl it and then I will come back when I'm at that very top section. I just sprayed the roots and so I'm gonna tease down. And then I'm just gonna brush out that top just cause it's the, the top, the really big top and I want it to be nice looking. Okay, the back and curl. Gonna switch over to the front section. I don't know why I started at the back, but just felt right on that one. <laughs> no rhyme or reason, I just did it. Okay, now we just don't touch. No touchy. Hairspray, just the top section, let it dry. 
Let it come to room temperature. You you know when your hair's not hot anymore. You know you know what that feels like. Um, this side is cooled down, so I'm gonna run my hands through this side. I'm just running my hands through it and then kind of scrunching it back up. And then after I touch it like that, I spray. And then leave it. This side is still a little bit warm, so I'm not gonna touch it yet. We're gonna wait. Now it's room temperature, I'm gonna just rake my hands through here, just on the top section. And then kind of scrunch, scratch. I know that's weird, but. Okay, I don't like my part after all. So I'm gonna change it. Okay, there we go. Now we'll move this over. Spray that one more time. I like the way that looks. <laughs> I like the way that looks. I don't like the way this looks. So I'm gonna take my little flat iron and I want these pieces to be more straight in my face now that I flipped it. I changed my mind and that's okay. I like the craziness that's going on over here. I like the big, that's fine for me. It's just the front pieces. I want them to frame my face a little bit better. So this, this flat iron is the Croc New Classic 1.5 Infrared. I know it's a mouthful, but that's what it is. Um, I have a code that will give you money off of that as well. That's Chloe30. And I'm just straightening just a little bit to face frame and then see how that's curled because I flipped it, it was on the other side. I'm gonna try to change the direction of that curl. And we're just gonna bring it right in front of my eye and flip it back just slightly so it goes into those clusters of curls right there and just hides. Now I'm gonna take my flat iron and just fix them ends that are sticking out. This is a huge question I get. So many people are like, I have short hair and my curls just stick out. Just take your flat iron and just fix the ends. No big deal. You can also do like the big bang thing if you want to have it off your face. All right, here's the back of my hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this. Um, just big, 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 big curly hair. <laughs> See you guys in my next one. Bye.